What's good? It's Kev here with KevWestBeats.com. Today I wanted to talk about how to set up machine to use as a sound module and MIDI controller for Ableton Live 8 on Windows 8. Uh, this technique also works on Windows 7, since Windows 7 and 8 aren't that um, different as far as you know where how everything works. But I wanted to um, just give you guys an overview because everything I've seen on YouTube covers OSX, pretty much. Um, so first things first. You go and open the control editor software. This part's actually really easy. You'll go factory template, select Ableton Live, as you already have Ableton Live selected. And then you'll go ahead and close the software. That'll say that that's easy enough done. Um, generally, you'll have a machine um, folder on your desktop too. I deleted mine and I haven't down re downloaded it. I didn't see a purpose to it. But anyway, you're going to have that machine um, template folder and you're going to go into your My Computer, C Drive, Program Data. And the Program Data folder is hidden, so you're going to have to take, so you're going to have to open up your hidden folders. I'm um, go Ableton. Go to the version of Ableton you're using. We're using the 8 beta. And then you're going to go to Resources. You're going to take that template folder, drag it, and drop it right into Templates and then you can close this up. <clears throat> um, that's just a little bit of setup you have to do beforehand. Then you're going to go into Ableton Live. You're going to go into your preferences. And you're going to go into your MIDI tab. You see I already have the machine uh, Mark II controller um, set up as a control surface. Set your ins and outs up to the machine controller. And then of course your MIDI ports again up to the machine controller. That's just how you set it up. Then we're going to go into Machine. We're going to open it up as a plugin in Ableton. We are going to go ahead and select a couple sounds. I'm going to go to Drums. I'm going to pick Kick. We'll use this Kick for the example. Drop that into Sound 1. And we're going to pick a Snare. Now I can do this from the controller too. I'll show you that yeah, you, know, you can do it from the controller too. Um, so as far as selecting sounds, because the controller works both ways. Um, sometimes I think it's just faster still for me because I'm still new to machine. I've, I've had machine for about a week now. Um, it's sometimes it's just faster for me to just use the um, controller. Here we go. I'm going to use this dirt snare. Put it on pad two. Select. So you see, you can do it that way too. This time I did it from the hardware first, the kick I did from the software. Okay. Now this part you have to do from the software. You might do it from the hardware. I just don't know how to do it. But you're going to select group, you're going to go sound MIDI patch setup, and you're going to go sound to MIDI notes. Pay attention to where this root note is, this is important. You're going to click apply. Close this plugin window, go to your machine tab in Ableton. You're going to select your Mark II or Mark I controller for machine. And you're going to go to your machine now. You're going to open up the live template uh, um, for the controller. Now, um, you're going to hold select and control. And then from there, you're going to hold, or excuse me, I select this. It says select and control, shift and control, excuse me. Then you're going to hold shift. And if you use your left and right arrows under your browse and sample buttons, You'll be able to flip through all of your templates. We're going to select Ableton Live and then select go of the shift button. All right. Now you're going to want to go on to page five of the, on the machine controller. Hold the octave button. And then you have the left and right buttons under your knobs. And you are going to select up or down. Now what you want to do here, excuse me, go in the pad mode first. I forgot the pad mode. You're going to hit pad mode because you start off in scene and pattern mode. Then you're going to hold the octave button. And the important thing here is make sure on chromatic mode that your that your pad is set to C3. That's very important because you want to get in the right octave. What that's going to do is that's going to get your pad one now to trigger that kick. Because if we didn't move it, it would have been set up to pad 13. See, this is me clicking pad one, nothing happens. But there it is on 13. You just want to change the octave to make sure that's in the right place. 
and there you go. Now you can set up your whole drum kit for a machine quickly and easily. Uh, if you just want to load another VST, I'll just load a VST onto my MIDI track right here. Pull up Lounge Lizard just because something quick and easy that you load up really fast. That's me playing from the pads. Just so you know it works with whatever. And then of course if you want to just go from track to track, you go to page six, button four, and that'll move you to the um, button um, three and four move you from track to track. Or you can go to track five. And you know, it's, it, it, works out, it works out really simple. There's actually a really good um, controller for Ableton again. Um, you know, like I said, I've had it for about a week. I'm still learning it, but I haven't seen any videos on how to set this up for, um, what you call it, for Windows 8 or Windows 7. Everything I've seen is for OS X. So I wanted to do a video to show you guys how to set this up. Anyway. I hope this helps somebody out. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and check out kevwestbeats.com.